Hey everyone, uh, this is Samantha and I am joining you two weeks after that previous video. I am officially two weeks post-op SRS surgery. I now have a vagina, which is absolutely exciting and amazing and great. And um, I'm doing a lot better than that previous video. I really am. And a large portion of that is due to my partner and my family. And yes, you guys watching that video and allowing me to rely on you guys for support was new to me and it really shouldn't have been but i do want to thank you guys for being there every comment every post every like every view made me feel a lot better it got things out it got things flowing and i feel that that was really important and i want to thank youtube and the trans community like like you're on youtube for that uh that said i am two weeks post-op and people probably have a lot of questions for me. So I'm gonna try and answer them here as well as much as possible for those who do wanna know how I'm doing as well as people who may be researching SRS or surgery with Dr. Suporn here in Thailand. Um, I'm two weeks post-op, uh, which means I have been dilating for two weeks, which is going to be the biggest topic ever. But first I do wanna start with just the environment and Dr. Suporn himself and how I kind of feel there. Lastly, I do want to talk about dilation because it's probably one of the most difficult and hardest things I have ever done in my life. And it's not due to fear. It really does feel like a brand new transition, embarking on an entirely new journey. Um, first off, the community here in Chomburi, Thailand is amazing. It's fantastic. And the reason is because Suporn has done his utmost best. He's the best surgeon in the world, especially given that he has his own personal technique. Um, and it brings in a crowd. We actually have people from all over Europe. We have people from France. We have people from Sweden. We have people from all over Europe. Uh, here in America, there's actually another couple from Pennsylvania here. Uh, we're from Colorado, obviously. And uh, we also have a lot of Australians. A lot of people are coming to Dr. Suporn, and because Dr. Suporn requires you to actually stay for an additional month past your surgery date in order to make sure nothing goes wrong, it kind of means that you just have this cycling amount of trans people just coming in the door and out the door 30 days later. And what it creates is a bit of a sisterhood of the traveling pants, like trans version, which is fantastic. It's like a massive support group to kind of help you through this surgery. And he doesn't just do SRS. He does facial feminization and he does breast augmentation and everything. So you see people coming in with all of these different surgeries going on. And it's absolutely amazing. You're just talking to these people and for quite some time, you just feel like you're taken in. You feel like it's a place where you belong. And it's interesting because you end up talking about dilation at the breakfast table, which is not something that would normally happen, but we get that close that quickly. And they brought us in like first day, like one first morning you get up, you go down to the, like the breakfast buffet they have. I guarantee you at least four or five of them will actually introduce themselves. It's amazing. Um, kind of moving right along to the actual Suporn clinic. Um, the girls that Dr. Suporn hires are fantastic. They are bilingual, they do understand Thai, and I'm pretty sure that one of the major reasons he chose them is because he does have an international client base and he wants to make sure that everyone is comfortable. For instance, I've been talking with three or four of these girls in English perfectly fine, they understand great English, but I actually saw one of them talking to a French group and I saw another one talking in German, which was interesting. I didn't actually get the chance to view that for very long, but um, they do the best that they can to make you feel comfortable. Uh, that said, um, they're basically an extension of Dr. Suporn themselves. If you have a question, they'll probably be able to answer it. And before and after your stay, you'll be speaking with the famed Sophie, who is the only person to actually answer questions for people before and after surgery. Do you spend like a good three days waiting for her responses under normal circumstances? Very overworked, but Suporn wants to make sure that you are getting the most direct information, which is really cool, really great. Sophie definitely needs some help, um, so some activism to kind of help out there would be much appreciated. Um, Dr. Suporn himself, fantastic surgeon, 
can't have any complaints necessarily. Um, I, the only complaint that I've seen was one person who didn't like the way that her nose was done. Uh, past that, his actual surgical procedures are fantastic. He follows a very strict regimen. And if he thinks that there is any chance anything will go wrong with you, he will make sure you know. For instance, when it came to death, if you wanted like a good six inches or anything like that and it wasn't possible, he would tell you. You'll get about like four inches and not to necessarily expect that, but he'll do his best. That said, he is a bit of a savant. Uh, surgery is pretty much the only thing he does. And because of that, his communication skills are a little bit lacking, which he relies on the women that he actually has at the supporting clinic in order to help you out as well. And A and Jib and everyone is fantastic, absolutely wonderful people. So definitely recommend Dr. Suporn as a surgeon. Um, results wise, and this is where I'm going to segue into the dilation conversation. I really, really like this. I don't have the parts that I've hated my entire life. And because of that, things are very, very new to me. I feel comfortable being naked in front of my partner. I've never felt comfortable being naked in front of myself. I can look at my body and say, yes, this is okay. And there are still things that I don't like about my body, of course. I mean, my midsection definitely needs some work. But past that, like, I don't have to look in the mirror and say, I hate the body that I have. And that is such an amazing and freeing sensation. The dysphoria overnight, almost gone. And it took a while. It took me being in the hospital. I actually remember the first memory after getting out of surgery, I looked at my partner probably smiling. I can't quite remember. Um, and I said, I have a vagina. And I was pretty excited about those facts. I was very excited. Um, the issue came when it came to dilation about a week later. Um, dilation basically means that you're going to take a medically required instrument with which to insert into your vagina. Probably sounds like something. Um, into the vagina and you hold it there so that it opens up the vagina. If you think about it, it's just like a piercing. And that piercing needs to have something in it to keep it open, otherwise the body heals over it. And you don't want that hoping, happening with your vagina at all. So dilation, medically required process. Now the way that it happens, um, it's rigorous. It's a good hour and a half and half of that is set up. You have to be very, very clean. He gives you a ton of surgical stuff. Like I have to put betadine on there and then like a Silvex solution. Um, it's very, very rigorous. It really is. And the one thing that hurts the most, and you'll hear this from a lot of post-op people with any surgeon really, dilation is very difficult. It is a chore. And yes, it is painful. And before I went into this, I knew it was going to be painful. I just didn't know exactly how mentally rigorous it is because this is the one time I have ever done anything that required so much of me physically. And what it basically is, and to explain this to people who aren't planning to go through SRS as well, basically if you were to cut yourself from your wrist to your arm down to the bone, and then during the course of recovery, every two hours have to put your hand in it and slide it for 15 straight minutes over and over again. And you would have to actually schedule yourself for that. Imagine how difficult it would be. That said, I have to do that with the vagina and the dilator hurts a lot. It hurts going in, it hurts keeping it in, it hurts pulling out. And with that said, I have to schedule it myself and I am responsible for doing this for the next year. It's not just going to be like two weeks of recovery or a month of recovery or three months of recovery. For Dr. Suporn, because of his technique, you will be recovering for a year. And dilation is a chore. And it's one that hurts. And that's one of the main reasons I wanted to bring up dilation as like the most important thing here. I want you to understand kind of what you're getting into. That said, Suporn is fantastic, amazing. I would always give him high regards. I don't exactly have any other surgeons to compare because I don't exactly have a vagina with which to get at another 
surgeon? I'm not sure. Either way, um, I do want to thank you guys very, very much once again for the support. And I think I'm just about finished there. Community here is fantastic. Suporn's health is absolutely amazing. Suporn himself, great surgeon, bit of a savant. Make sure that you do know a little bit of Thai when you come here, like thanks and goodbye and things like that. But past that, you'll be perfectly fine. If you have any questions, toss them down in the comments below. And I am hoping to make a video with my partner just to end this channel as far as officially ending the channel goes, because which is kind of an important part of my life. So if you, if you have any questions that you might like uh, my partner to answer or anything like that, just feel free to toss them down below. No promises, but we'll definitely do the best we can to help. Thanks, guys. Bye.